finally tonight, the cat that is, well, the cat's whiskers. If every cat has nine lives, surely they'd like to spend at least one of them as the kind of luxury feline Sue Porter found at a house in High Wycombe. <laughs> This, this new breed while I was in hospital and uh, just fell in love with them because they, they, they look so much, very much like the, the actual leopards. But in fact, the Bengal, as it's known, is far more suited to the urban jungle and is a cross between the wild leopard cats that stalk Central Asia and the best of British felines. There are about 250 Bengals in Britain, but Esmond's pride and joy is Nyali Ocelot, the only son of a leopard cat in the country, Ossie has attracted offers of up to £5,000. I wouldn't take 50000 I wouldn't take anything, for, you know, that there's, there's nothing that anyone could do to get um, some of the cats off me. And following the purchase of stud cat Nakunja, Esmond's feline friends totaled 37. <laughs> So what makes the Bengals different from any other cats? Basically they have the, the personalities of the domestic cat with the wild features and the looks and certain traits of the actual Asian leopard cat. Um, they love the water, they adore to play, play in water. You do not have a bath uh, with the door open. Well, someone once said that a leopard can't change its spots, but these not-too-distant relatives are living in a bedroom. They're the latest additions to the family, and they're just four days old. I think, I think I love you. <laughs> oh, oh, you like that, didn't you? I like that. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, some late news, which is...